So OpenAI just dropped this absolutely surreal nine minute video that might go down as one of the most important tech announcements in history. The weird part, it feels more like a tech bro wedding announcement than a product launch. You've got Sam Altman and a guy named Johnny Ive just casually strolling through San Francisco talking about reimagining human computer interaction, but showing us literally nothing. No product, no demo, just vibes and philosophical statements about the future of computing. But here's what makes this absolutely wild. If you're not familiar with Johnny Ive, he's the genius designer behind the original iPhone that changed everything. He essentially cracked the code on the perfect smartphone form factor and every phone since has copied his blueprints. And he just took $6.5 billion from OpenAI to build the device whose goal is to make your phone obsolete. To put that $6.5 billion in perspective, that's more than Disney paid for Marvel, more than Facebook paid for WhatsApp, for a company that literally just makes prototypes. In this video, they drop some pretty wild claims. Sam Altman says, quote, I think it is the coolest piece of technology that the world will have ever seen. And Joni Ive says, everything I have learned over the last 30 years has led me to this place and this moment. That's a pretty bold statement from the guy who designed the device that literally changed human behavior. But here's the key insight from the video. Ive says, we're still using decades old products, meaning PCs and smartphones, to connect with AI technology. And his solution, quote, Surely there's something beyond these legacy products. So the man who created the ultimate tech product wants to kill it. We can't be completely sure yet if it's genius or completely insane. Now OpenAI tried to keep the details secret, but thanks to a leaked internal staff meeting and supply chain reports, we're starting to get the real picture and it is wild. According to the leaked meeting and analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, here's what we know about this mystery device. It's slightly larger than an iPod shuffle, so we're talking tiny. It's designed to hang around your neck like a pendant or sit on your desk. There is no screen at all. It's completely voice and sensor-based. It has always on cameras and microphones for environmental awareness, and it connects to your existing devices for processing power rather than trying to replace them. But here's where it gets crazy. In that leaked staff meeting, Sam Altman said they plan to ship 100 million of these devices. For context, it took the iPhone three years to hit 100 million units sold. They wanna do it faster than any company in history. They're calling this a third core device, something that sits on your desk alongside your MacBook and iPhone. But unlike those devices, this one is always listening, always watching, always understanding your context. The idea is ambient AI. You walk into your kitchen and just say, what should I make for dinner? Well, and it already knows what's in your fridge, your dietary restrictions, your schedule, and maybe even your mood based on your voice patterns. Timeline-wise, they're targeting late 2026 for the first device launch with mass production starting in 2027. And they're manufacturing in Vietnam specifically to avoid geopolitical risk with China. Oh, and that company name IO, that's apparently just a placeholder. The real product name is still secret. But here's why this announcement sent shockwaves through the entire tech industry, because this isn't just about one device. This is a massive play in the race to define the next era of human civilization. Right now, every major tech company on the planet is frantically trying to crack the code on the first truly useful AI device. Meta is betting billions on Ray-Ban smart glasses. Google is launching Android XR after the Google Glass disaster. Apple is secretly developing their own smart glasses for 2027. Amazon has Echo Frames. Even startups like Brilliant Labs are building AI glasses. They all see the same massive opportunity. Whoever creates the first AI device that people actually wanna use every day gets to control the next computing platform. And that winner doesn't just make money, they literally shape how humanity interacts with information, with each other, and with reality itself for the next 20 years. The company that wins this race will be more powerful than whoever controlled the smartphone era. The stakes have never been higher. Now, before we get too excited about this ambient AI future, we need to talk about reality because the AI device space is absolutely littered with spectacular failures. Let's start with the Humane AI pin, $700 upfront plus $24 a month, and it was so broken that reviewers called it the worst product I've ever reviewed. It overheated constantly. They literally told people to stop charging it due to fire risks. Battery life was two to four hours max. It couldn't set basic timers or alarms. AI responses took 30 plus seconds and were often wrong. The magnetic design pulled down your clothes. It was so bad that the company got bought by HP and the product was discontinued. $240 million in funding, gone. Then there's the Rabbit R1. 
$200, no subscription, and it sounded promising. But reviewers quickly discovered it was basically just an Android app in a plastic box. The battery died in four hours doing nothing. It could only connect to four apps, Spotify, Uber, DoorDash, and Midjourney. Most functions didn't work reliably, and it was slower than just using your phone. Though to be fair, after a year of updates, some reviewers say it's actually decent now, but that's not exactly a ringing endorsement. But not everything in this space has failed. Let me quickly run through what's actually available and working right now. The Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses at $299 are the clear winner. They look completely normal, take surprisingly good photos and videos, have working Meta AI integration, six hour battery life, and can live stream directly to social media. They're what I'd recommend if you want smart glasses today. Amazon Echo Frames are solid if you just want Alexa on your face. No camera or display, just audio and Alexa integration. They have the best battery life at six to eight hours and work with prescription lenses, but talking to Alexa in public feels awkward. Google just announced they're getting back into smart glasses with Android XR partnering with Warby Parker. After the Google Glass disaster, they're trying again with better AI and more practical features. These aren't available yet, but could be the Ray-Ban competitor we need. So back to OpenAI's mystery device. Why might this succeed where everyone else failed? They have the best AI in the world. ChatGPT actually works consistently. Johnny Ive has never designed a truly ugly or unusable product. They're not trying to replace your phone, but complement it. They promise true environmental awareness, not just voice commands. And $6.5 billion buys serious R&D and talent. But here's what worries me. This is a privacy nightmare. Always watching, always listening. Are we really ready for ambient AI overseeing our lives? But here's the real challenge. They're trying to create something that's a better experience than our addictive screens. Think about it, your phone is designed to be irresistible. Every app, every notification, every swipe is engineered by teams of psychologists and designers to keep you hooked. And now they wanna replace that with talking to a device around your neck. The reason we're all addicted to our phones isn't just convenience, it's because visual interfaces with instant gratification are incredibly compelling. Can ambient AI really compete with the dopamine hit of scrolling through TikTok or getting likes on Instagram? Look, I want this to work. The idea of ambient AI that just understands your context and helps without you having to pull out your phone sounds amazing. And while companies have tried and failed at this before, Google Glass, Microsoft HoloLens, Magic Leap, if anyone can crack the code, it's this team. You've got Johnny Ive, who has never designed a product that people didn't want to use, paired with ChatGPT, the first AI that actually works reliably for millions of people. That's a pretty powerful combination. Here's my advice. If you want smart glasses today, get the Ray-Ban Metas. They work, they look normal, and they're reasonably priced. If you want to wait for the future, keep an eye on OpenAI's device and Google's Android XR glasses, but don't hold your breath. Even with the best team in the business, we're probably still two to three years away from truly great ambient AI. When OpenAI finally shows this thing, I'll be looking for three things, whether it actually solves a real problem, whether people will want to wear it in public, and whether it's actually better than just using your phone for certain things. Because at the end of the day, the best AI device is the one you'll actually use every day. And that's a pretty high bar, even for Johnny Ive. What do you think? Are you ready to trust the iPhone designer to get you off your iPhone? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see me review this thing when it eventually ships, hit subscribe.